hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is jess i am an intuitive tarot and oracle card reader welcome to airy season everyone i am so <laughs> super excited um, we have officially entered 2021 on march 21st and this will last up until april 20th the airy season anyways um, but you know, we are in like a happy new year party all over again, and you will understand why in just a minute, you know, we have gone through a lot of emotions and this is one of the things I want to touch on first because we just left Pisces season. And if that means nothing to you, well, just know that if you have seen people snap lately, or if you've been feeling a lot more emotional than usual, then this is why, you know, we are starting to make something out of nothing. Pisces season has addressed the things that we've pent up for a very long time. And it's now just been able to be released. Maybe some of you have left a job or you're leaving relationships. You're not holding back. You know, you're not, you're not having any ill will to these people or the situations, but you're just thanking whoever was involved for whatever lesson that they gave us and we're moving on you know it's been difficult for some people myself included and um a lot of us have used this time for a reflection period and um, a lot of us have just been taking it really really hard you know eventually we will see that it's for the better um, but we're trying to make it better. Maybe we are eating better, working out, thinking positive, uh, reading more. You know, we're starting to plant some new seeds for ourselves as we enter spring equinox. So allow yourself to plant those new seeds as you grow. It's going to be a beautiful thing. So happy new year and happy energy new year. We are officially in 2021. So allow yourself to start fresh allow um, yourself to be heard and you're not taking any more ish anymore <laughs> like I don't know if you can hear me banging the table but like I am banging the table because I am so passionate and I am ready to have some sort of stability in my life so let's just touch base on the astrology quickly the sun is in aries so we are coming in hot we can tackle life all over again as we move into the uh, 12 zodiac signs we get back into that cycle so we know how to work people we know how things change throughout the year maybe you notice certain patterns so we're starting to get set up to get back in those zodiac signs and you'll be like all right i know how to handle this situation Situation, or maybe I know how to make a better plan. Um, Venus enters Aries as well. So this is bringing a lot of romance in the Pisces energy video that I did a couple weeks back, I believe. Um, I, I basically called it. <laughs> uh, I was saying that some of us may be in uh, relationships or committing more. So there's a couple things I want you guys to look out for entering Aries season. Um, how you are moving forward in what you want to achieve and how you can, you know, add some flair to it. How can you be seen or admired? Uh, what can you do to change it up? How can you change your life up? You know, specifically focusing on arts and crafts. I'm hearing sunlight, get that sunlight on your skin, um, but career and love. So those are the things that we are specifically focusing on for uh, airy season. March 26th, that will be the best day for both those things, uh, financial and um, relationship wise. So choose wisely on that day. Also, I feel like the first week of April, you'll want to fix things up. Maybe you've got some projects you're thinking about. Um, maybe you want to try something new. I'm hearing a recipe. Some of you may be cooking up a couple new things. Um, so we also have the moon cycles. We've got the full moon in Libra on March 28th. Make sure you stay tuned for that on YouTube as well. So that will be urging us to strike our partnerships, you know, balancing people out, you know, putting the phone down, stepping away from the computer, going for a walk, spending a little bit more quality time with each other. Um, <laughs> you're probably like, how many more 
times can I watch this movie or how much more quality time do I need with this person? <laughs> I've been quarantined with them forever. That's why you got to spice it up, guys. Um, the new moon in Aries on April 11th is, you know, basically telling yourself to give a round of applause to the new opportunities that are coming your way you know get ready because you're about to set some new intentions and this is kind of what we've been hoping for for a very long time we've been wanting change and i think you're able to have it now if you go back in the last moon cycle reading that i did and the pisces energy i had spoken about death and boundaries and focusing on self-love especially the last few weeks um, there has been physical death and there has been a lot of boundaries crossed as a collective. Um, you know, we want to prove a point to ourselves. And this time, the last few weeks, it's been emotional for some of us. It's been um, dark. You know, there have... We're, we're just ready to come into a lot more peace and love and understanding. I think we've been through a lot this last year. So really give yourself a big hug thank thank your body give thanks to your body for the weight that it has carried this past year maybe even four years i feel like a lot of us have been doing something for years um mentally emotionally physically our bodies have carry a lot um give yourself a, a mental hug as well during this airy season allow yourself to um understand that we think faster than we speak we repeat life situations, thoughts a thousand times over and over and over again. And we, when we try to stop it, we can't even stop it. And you need to just love yourself for that. It's okay to um, overthink, but just make sure that you are not beating yourself up mentally and emotionally and physically over it. I feel uh, just like there needs to be a weight lifted off everybody's chest whether it's health or financial we have to be able to let it go so before i end this video i would love all of us to take one massive deep breath in because <laughs> we need it so three two one and we will let it out and just let the angels take it. Let God take it. Go with the flow. If you feel like you got to scream, fuck it, scream. <laughs> because I have done my fair share. So give yourself some relief. Allow yourself to enjoy some time off. Um, find those projects. Realize those boundaries. And really start to tackle things head on. And remember to love yourself. Good luck in Aries season, everybody. If you want your own personal tarot card reading, please do not hesitate to send me a message. Everything you need to know will be linked in the description below. I love all of you and love and light. Bye.